Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. In this video, I want to tell you guys about my experience of when I tried to go visit doctors to get treated for my hypothyroidism. So, I was working my ass off to try and lose weight. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, I train powerlifting, I train jiu-jitsu, I've been training my ass off for six years, I've lost a lot of weight in the past, but I've never been able to get lean. Even as a teenager, I've always been slightly chubby. No matter how hard I worked, I worked harder than everyone else, I ate healthier than every single one of my friends, and I've never been able to get lean. But I do have thyroid issues on both sides of my family. So I've always felt self-conscious because I felt like my body never really showed how hard I worked. Because I saw girls that didn't work nearly as hard as me, and they were ripped, and they had gorgeous bodies. And I was one that I missed out on all the junk food. I ate really clean. I counted everything I ate. I made sure my food was consistent and on point, And I was never able to get the same bodies. So... I knew there was a problem, so I actually dedicated this year from New Year's, I said, this is going to be my year that I lose weight and I get that body that I really want. So I worked my ass off. I was at a point where I was training minimum twice a day. Um, even now I train a lot of days twice a day because I do try and fit into sports. But some days I was doing three, session day, three sessions a day. Sometimes I was doing three sessions of jiu-jitsu in one day, which is exhausting. Um, I was eating so healthy. I went through so many different calorie cuts, so I was making sure that I was building my calories up and then slowly dropping them down in order to drop my weight. I may lose a kilo here and there, but it never really stuck. So I went through like a really bad breakup and I really wanted to make sure that this time I could work my ass off. So I even committed that hard that on my 25th birthday, I ate no cake. I ate no junk food. I was still committed to being as healthy as possible. Even no fruit, nothing. So I was averaging out nearly a kilogram a week of weight gain. I was doing in-body scans regularly so I could see this was not muscle. Even though I was training my ass off, everyone was saying, oh, you're gaining more muscle. But I knew it was not muscle. Muscle doesn't jiggle and it's not squishy. And the in-body machine scans were telling me that it was not muscle. So I went to three doctors. Now, the first female doctor I went to is my normal doctor that I go to for everything. And she told me, you're just gaining muscle. That it's not fat. And I asked for a blood test to get my H, um, HS, HS, H, no, THS tested. Um, and she's like, no, you don't need it tested. You're fine. You're, it's just muscle. You're young. You'll work it off. She's like, you're like, look at you. You're muscular. I'm like, this is not muscle. I can tell the difference between muscle and fat. And it drove me crazy. She refused to test me. So I literally walked out of the doctor's office and asked, can I see another doctor? And went straight into another doctor. So I went to a male doctor and I said, I want to get all these things tested. And he's like, okay, we'll get tested. So I got a bunch of tests and I got the results back and he's like, oh, your TSH is a little high, but it's nothing to be worried about. We've still got a little bit more room. So if it gets, it's on 3.2 and if it gets over 3.5, then we recommend medication. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gaining weight now. So why can't I be medicated now? And it wasn't until I gained another 5 to 10 kilos where my TSH is going to be over 3.5, that they're going to consider actually medicating me because then I'll be officially clinically sick or ill. So they wanted me to get fatter before they actually going to do anything about it. So this was the hardest thing that worked for me because I'm a strength and conditioning coach and I'm training and I'm working hard and I'm getting fat. And you have no idea how embarrassing it is to get fat in an industry where you're supposed to help people get lean and get their dream bodies when you're going the complete opposite direction no matter how hard you work. Even when I said it to people that I'm gaining all this weight and I can't figure out why and what's going on and how hard I'm training, people's response is usually like, oh, I thought you were intentionally gaining weight. I thought it was like for a weight class and like people could see that I was gaining weight or um, I'll run into like a guy I used to see and he'll point to my stomach and be like, oh, what's happening there? What's going on? And I was like, shut up I don't want to deal with it just you get a lot of really rude responses I mean I'm not I'm not fat I'm still considered fairly small but because of how much weight I gained overnight that everyone I did a lot of people were very honest in telling me like ah oh, look at you you're looking at a little pudgy it's like oh thanks man okay so 
After this, I ran into um, an old work colleague and she is in her 50s and she's lost a lot of weight. She's like, go see this guy. And he is a specialist for hormones and he's like the end result. He's the last resort for people to go to. So a lot of cancer patients go to him for alternative medicine and um, he's a super biohacker and into all that world and he was really cool. But he was expensive. Expensive. He was just under four hundred dollars to go see for a thirty-minute appointment. So I was like, "Please help me." So I went to him. I gave him my huge load of um, blood tests I've done and in-body scans. I said, "This is happening. I'm gaining all this weight. I can't figure out why. It's driving me crazy." He, I had, I made sure I put the the TSH level on the phone. He picked it up and he's just like, "Your your your hormones fucked," and set it down. And I was like, "I know my hormone. I know it's my thyroid, but." No one will treat me. He's just like, yeah, no doctor's going to treat you. I'm like, well, I need to be treated. So he's like, well, do you know why they're not going to treat you? And I was like, no, please explain. So he told me that the measurements for the thyroid hormone are really big. So what they do is they do a 0.4 to a 3.5. And anything above the 3.5, they'll medicate. But what they did is they took these measurements from um, 100 people. And the 100 people that they had the blood test from were 100 sick people. So these thyroid hormones were such a huge bracket. And technically, anything over a 2 can equal weight gain. Ideally, you want to be sitting around that 0.4 to less than a 1 if you want a healthiest possible um, thyroid bracket. So I'm at 3.2, and anything over 2 is weight gain, especially if your cortisol is high. And I also had a really high cortisol. So high cortisol and a high thyroid hormone equals excess weight gain. So because of those two together is why my weight gain escalated so quickly and why my thyroid jumped. So we also made sure we checked for parasites and a couple of other things, checked my iodine levels, my zinc, my iron. I am low in zinc and iron, so I started to supplement with them just to see if there could be a cause to it. So since that, um, they he put me on a natural thyroid hormone. So a natural thyroid hormone, I will explain this in another video, is directly from a pig's thyroid as opposed to a synthetic. So the synthetic thyroid hormone is actually the number one prescribed drug in America. I was so surprised when I realized that, that a huge, like a large percentage of Americans are actually on a thyroid hormone um, because of the obesity rates and the chemicals in the food and our modern diet and all the things we're like in contact with. Um, so that's now the number one prescribed drug in America, which I thought was going to be a pain pill or something. So as soon as I started taking the natural thyroid hormone, I've not gained any weight since, which has been a relief. If anything, I've actually gotten quite used to this body now. It's become so normal because I've been stuck with it, but not gaining the weight has been great. But I haven't been able to necessarily lose the weight either. So I will go for another test in a few weeks. But overall, I'm getting there. But the whole point of this video was what my doctor's response was. So if you do, if you're worried that your TSH could be a little high and you could be at risk of hypothyroidism, then go get it checked. And if it's any, so look at the ranges. So the ranges go from 0 0.4 to 3.5. But if you are over the two and you are gaining weight, have a look at what things could be causing um, your thyroid to go up. And there are some natural things that you can be doing to help with your thyroid hormone. Um, things like I take three to four Brazil nuts every single day to get selenium. There's a couple of natural herbs that you could be taking. Just a few things that you could be doing at home in order to make sure that those thyroid numbers don't bump up. But if, it, if you do get your thyroid checked and it is above a 2 and your doctor is not going to help medicate you um, then I, and you want to be medicated, I do recommend going to find someone that does a natural thyroid hormone as opposed to the synthetic thyroid hormone. So that was my interesting journey with doctors telling me that all this extra fat gain was all muscle when I could know exactly the difference between what muscle feels like and fat feels like. So I'm going to do a couple more videos on the thyroid and my experience. So if you have had experiences with 
thyroid issues um, and you've had a similar journey to me of you're at a point where you're struggling to lose weight and you cannot figure out why you're doing everything possible you're doing what your trainer says what the book says and you can't figure it out then go get the thyroid checks because there's number one prescribed drug in America so many of us have thyroid issues and we just don't know about it so one of my biggest things I hate is the amount of people that say to me, oh, weight loss is easy. If someone wants to lose weight, they could lose weight. Or being chubby or being overweight is by choice. It is so not. And after ex this whole experience of understanding what the impact stress has on your life, overtraining has on your life, um, emotional things, that there's so much more to weight loss than just eating and exercising. And we're not all blessed with the perfect balance hormones so thank you so much for checking out my video if you haven't already press subscribe button and um, I've got a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel and I'm gonna be doing a bunch more on the thyroid hormones so if you have been through an experience like this let me know and tell me a little bit about your journey in the meantime keep being strong happy and healthy